Next one is the product rule and the quotient rule. Uh, many different cases, you will get some example looks like the function form is one function times another function like this. So, or sometimes the function is this kind of fraction form here. In this case, unfortunately, we cannot use power or basic different differential property. Therefore, this time we will talk about the product rule and the quotient rule in little more detail. Okay. So, if the function form is like this, then derivative of this function equal to f prime function time g original function plus original f function time g prime x. That will be the property. But this notation looks a little bit confused and then looks harder. So I'm gonna just simplify a little bit more and then keep on utilizing different notation though. Okay? So if fx equal to a times b and then a and b are one of the function or expressions, okay? Functional form. Okay. Then f prime x equal to a prime b plus a b prime. I know that this notation exactly same as this one, but one thing we can say, this looks a little bit simpler and then I can give you a bit more steps. Okay. Look at an example. Find the derivative of hx equal to 3x minus 2x squared times 5 plus 4x. So, I will use property set up this way. Good? So, the first of all, I'm going to set up a. So, a equal to 3x minus 2x squared and b equals to 5 plus 4x. Now, just find a prime and b prime separately. Then a prime become 3 minus 4x. b prime is 4. Now, you cross multiply, then you will complete this form basically. Good? So, f f prime x equal to 4 times, I'm going this direction first, 4 times 3x minus 2x squared plus this direction, then 3 minus 4x times 5 plus 4x. So, you fold them out, then 12x minus 8x squared plus 15 plus 12x minus 20x minus 16x squared and combine like term. Then this is going to be so 12x 12x 24x minus 20x so become 4x and minus 8x squared minus 16x squared should become negative 24x squared and then 15, right? So plus 15. Therefore, f prime x equal to negative 24x squared plus 4x plus 15. That will be the answer. Okay, then let's think about quotient rule. If the function form fx equal to fx over gx, then f prime x equal to f prime x times gx minus fx times g prime x over 
g x square. That is the quotient rule. But this one also looks uh, a little bit complicated. So I'm going to simplify using different notation. So let's say fx equal to top over bottom. Then you set up t and t prime and b n, b prime, and they always go to direction this way, and secondly, this way. So that's the key point here. So f prime x equal to b t prime minus t b prime over b square. Of course, we can use a and b as well. But if I use a and b for quotient rule 2, then this one looks a little bit confused with this product rule. That's why I'm using different alphabet for quotient rule. Okay, then let's look at an example. Find the derivative of y equal to 5x minus 2 over x squared plus 1. So I'm going to set up t equal to 5x minus 2 b equals x squared plus 1 and t prime 5 b prime 2x. So always this direction first and secondly this direction. We just confirm that through the property. Therefore y prime equal to 5 times x squared plus 1 minus 2x times 5x minus 2 over x squared plus 1 square. So now you expand it. Then it becomes 5x squared plus 5 minus 10x squared plus 4x. Be careful. Negative time positive negative time negative, okay? And then x squared plus 1 squared. Then y prime equal to the combined like terms. So as you see, this and this is a like terms. So the total becomes negative 5x squared and only x term here. So copy down plus 4x and then that's the only number, so plus 5 over x squared plus 1 squared. So we try to factor, but you know, I just leave the answer like this. So that's the answer for this problem. Good.